Here are the answers to exercise 17.1a. As we go through them, you mark your answers, and uh, if you've got any wrong, you do your corrections. So the first question says, write down as many pairs of angles as you can that add up to 180 degrees, because the angles are on a straight line. So we're looking for straight lines with two angles on. So for example, we could have, this is a straight line here, minus a very straight line. So A and B add up to straight line. So that was A plus B would be one pair. Um, we could then have on the other side, we could have C plus D. But you could also look at B plus C because they're on a straight line or A plus D. All of those are going to add up to 180 degrees. Um, we could also have E and F. We could have F and G. G and H and E and H. So I've got six answers there, uh, no, eight answers altogether there. So I don't know if you've got any different ones, but uh, that looks good. Just check yours. Uh, if you've got any questions, you can always get back to me in the virtual classroom. Okay, let's go on to the question number two. Write down as many groups of angles as you can that add up to 360 degrees because they're around a single point. So the points that we are going to be looking at are this one here and this one down here. Okay, so those are the points. And so for this set of points, these are the ones we've got to add together. So A plus B plus C plus D all add up to 360 degrees. Similarly, if we look down at the bottom, we've got this group of angles here. They're all about a single point. So E plus F plus G plus H must equal 360 degrees. Check your answer, make sure you've got it right. Give yourself a tick if you did. And let's move on then to the next. Write down as many pairs of supplementary angles as you can. Supplementary angles are angles that add up to 180 degrees. So in this particular uh, example, we could have four example. We could have uh, A plus F. So A, here's angle A, here's angle A. F, and they add up to 180 degrees. Let's have a look at some more. We could have a look at D and G. They also have a look, if you have a look at them, add up to 180 degrees. There are some others, so uh, you can discover them. Uh, e plus B add up to 180 degrees, H plus C add up to 180 degrees. See if you can find any others that add up to 180 degrees. Okay, once you've checked your answers, go on to the next question. Have a look at this one. Write down as many pairs of vertically opposite angles as you can. Vertically opposite angles, you might remember, are equal. So, for example, we could start with angle A, and the angle that's opposite angle A is C. So we can say A is equal to C because they're vertically opposite. We can then do B, and we can do D. So B is equal to D. And then if we start to look down at the bottom, we've got E must be equal to G. and F must be equal to H. 
check your answers, give yourself a tick if you got them right, if you haven't, make sure you do your corrections. Number five says to write down as many pairs of alternate angles as you can. So let's have a look to see if what we can find with alternate angles. We're looking for this Z sort of shape. Remember we have the, the Z shape, so something like this, whoops, right, for the alternate angles. So alternate angles are equal, A is equal to G in this case. There's angle A and there's angle G and they are equal. In the same way, uh, if I do my Z backwards, D is equal to F. Okay, have a look at your answers, mark it, and go on to the next one. Number six, uh, which is the last question here, write down as many pairs of corresponding angles as you can. Angles that correspond to each other. So here we're looking at angles which are on one line, one, one of the parallel lines that correspond to an angle on the other parallel line. So angle A, for example, is on the top parallel line on this one. And on the bottom parallel line, the angle that corresponds to it is this one. So A and E are equal. And we could do any other pair of angles. So for example, B, that corresponds to F. So B is equal to F. And just moving around, we can see that C is equal to, which does that correspond to? Corresponds to G. And the last one over here is D. D corresponds to, yeah, H. Okay, once you've checked all your answers, can you make sure that you mark it, uh, scan it, photograph it, send it off to me, make sure that your name is at the top, Today's the date is on the top, and the exercise number is on the top. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.